Welcome to this series on building a custom web mapping application using open source tools. We'll be using Flask, Postgres, PG TileServe, and MapLibre, but I'll do my best to point out alternatives. Before we jump into the code, it's worth taking a step back to go over how all these pieces fit together and where code actually gets executed. All of our GIS data will be stored in a Postgres database, but this could be any database capable of storing spatial data. I've got a separate video on spooling up a local Postgres instance inside of Docker and putting data into it. For this example, we'll keep working with the flight radar data from that video. What the user will see is a map with geospatial data on it. This is called client side and is where all the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code is interpreted and run. I've put a box around the Postgres database to indicate that it is walled off from the client side. There should be no direct way for users to access the data you've stored there unless you explicitly give it to them. For the client side to see your data, we can serve it up via tiles. In this series, we'll use PG TileServe, which pulls data directly from Postgres and serves it up as Mapbox tiles, but could be replaced with any other tile server. For instance, if you're running Mongo instead of Postgres, it may be more appropriate to use something like GeoServer. The only thing that matters here is that what you use is able to serve up an endpoint in the format that the app is expecting. To actually serve the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to the end user, we'll need a web framework sitting behind a web server. Like the tile server, it is able to communicate with our database and send all appropriate data to the user. For this, we'll be using Flask, but any web framework could easily be substituted. Java Spring, PHP, Django are all valid options. This series will be broken up across several, hopefully shorter videos. In the next video, we'll begin framing out the basics of getting a Flask app running and displaying a map. As always, if you have questions, suggestions, or find something unclear, please comment below. We'll refer back to this diagram as this series continues. It's incredibly important to understand the interplay between these components as you build out your web app.